So India versus Bangladesh, one off test match and yet it's the start of the Virat Kohli era. And he couldn't have asked for better. He's actually led India in a test match in a far more difficult situation. And I was in Adelaide for one of the best test matches I have seen. It was thrilling. Not only did he play like a leader, he captained like a leader as well. And it was wonderful to watch Virat Kohli there. Now the team becomes his on a long-term basis. And he'll be able to start to mould his team, get them to be who they want, who he wants them to be. But it's also a great opportunity phase for Indian cricket. Kohli said all the right things. He's talked about wanting to create a bond within the players. He wants to build deep relationships within the players. He wants to play aggressive cricket. And he's got a team that has the makings of coming together and is still fairly exper uh, experienced. They may not have played a lot of test match cricket. There's Rohit Sharma, there's Cheteshwar Pujara, there's Ajinkya Rahane, Murli Vijay. They've all got good 5, 6, in some cases 10 years ahead of them. So that is what I'll be looking forward to seeing in, um, in, in Bangladesh. How do they play for each other? How good are they playing together? I'd like to see how he handles two players. Because I think there are two special players. We all talk about Kohli, we talk about Rahane. Murli Vijay has had a good career. Shikhar Dhawan's blown hot, blown cold. But there are two players who I think in contrasting styles could do very well for Indian cricket. One is Cheteshwar Pujara. I know he struggled in England, he struggled in Australia. You, you can't be all right when you don't know what future you have outside the test match game. The IPL doesn't want you. There was a lot going on. There were technical errors maybe. He went to England. He scored a lot. He scored runs in the few innings that he had over there. But I'd like to see Kohli reach out to Cheteshwar Pujara and tell him you're a special player. We need you. So that's one thing I look forward to. The other is Rohit Sharma. I've been critical and everyone knows that. I, I, I even get hate tweets sometimes about that. But I got the impression during this year's IPL that he was changing as a person. You can't draw conclusions, too many conclusions from the IPL on how he's going to play test match cricket. But from his interviews, from the way he was carrying himself, the fact that he's become a captain, he's got to think differently. I think I got the feeling there's a maturing Rohit Sharma. And the advantage of starting as early as Rohit did is that he can reach this stage and still have a long career in, uh, in front of him. I just think he's more settled in life now. Sometimes what you do off the field determines how successful you become on the field. So I'm going to look for how Virat Kohli reaches out to Pujara, who's one kind of player, and Rohit Sharma, who's one kind of player. And then he's got a different challenge. He's got Harbhajan Singh back in the side. He's got Ashwin, who's bowled very well in subcontinent conditions, actually bowled well in Australia too. And he's got Harbhajan Singh, who's got a point to prove. He bowled beautifully in the IPL. You can't draw IPL conclusions, we say that all the time. But when someone's got 400 test wickets, you only see how he's bowling. So that's what I'll be looking forward to from, from the Indian point of view. Also, will they play Umesh Adho, Varun Aaron and try and attack Bangladesh with pace? That's, that's what I'd expect Kohli's style to be. So, watch this series to get some pointers on where Virat Kohli is going. So it might seem a one-off test match, India versus Bangladesh, but there's little more to look at. If you want to stay up to date with all my video blogs, hit the subscribe button.